Greetings and salutations and welcome back to our Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard as Albania. And we are currently beating up on Albania, sorry, on um, Ottomans and Spain at the same time. Because they had it coming. He is actually going to try this. One stack wipe, two stack wipes. We're not going to move down here because we don't have any cannons. We'll go down there with the second army when we can. Uh, we could get another s set of states in here and off of here, just to here. Um, well, I think I want to save our points because we're going to have to core and we're no longer ahead of time on tech. We're starting to have institution spread issues, institution uh, tech penalties. This is not spreading throughout our country very rapidly. Okay, Portugal in seven years. Let's keep an eye on our truce timers. do have more big ships than us, but we've got a bunch of galleys, so we should be able to sink them. Okay, this guy, this general would be nice down south. Just for the maneuver. So we're going to send these troops down here and we'll reorganize once we get on it. But I think we could actually peace out Spain now. I doubt they're going to be super enthused about this war. What we want out of you guys again is you have to break off that alliance and this one. Nope, not that one, that one. I don't know if we could take anything from you, that would be great, but you're not a co-belligerent, so I don't see that really happening. Uh, I guess we could take your cash. Four hundred ducats. We'll get almost three quarters of it. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll get these guys organized a little bit better and prepare for that invasion of Portugal. Uh, we don't need this, so why don't we get some claims? Salish. English. Uh, we should probably give France some of this in the peace deal. Okay, let's think about what a peace deal would look like here. Uh, that'd be the Commonwealth. We don't want the Commonwealth to have that. I mean, we're integrating them in, but. Let's see if we get the market as being of interest to us. No. So we would take those provinces. Take that. I'm not allowed to be allied to Great Britain. We're going to have to beat up on France eventually, so let's not actually strengthen them. Let's take this and Ultenia, because we have the mission. Well, why don't we hold out until we can get that? But then our borders are going to be ugly, so we might want to hold out until we get that as well. Borders 
quarters are still going to be ugly. But maybe, maybe the enemy will liberate these provinces. They do have troops up here. No. Okay, so we need, in our front row, 38. So this is... basically a, a real army. And a few extra cannons, more than we should probably be supporting. 2-2, Two -two concerns over attrition. When can we invade? I think it was 07. No, 11, so seven more years. Yeah, let's see if they liberate these provinces. Move this guy down here. Ottoman troops are garbage, so they might even lose this battle. Good. I want them to lose it, I want them to liberate this stuff. They make our burgers happy, lose a little bit of legitimacy, and we'll just strengthen our government to get it back. Come on, guys, go around, take this. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. Sure. Come on, guys, just spread out. Carpet siege, all this. Liberate it all. Before the French get there and kill you. So close. And these two. These are the ones you want. <laughs> I mean, we could just wait till we integrate in Commonwealth. Oh, we were so close. Alternately, I could force him to release Circassia and then just invade it myself. I'm going to see if they liberate this territory. French and the Commonwealth troops around there might prevent it. But we're getting war score while this is going on, so it's worth our time to wait. Oh, you know what, we could, we could just take it from now. I forgot that we could do that now. Okay, let's um, take a look at what this peace deal would look like. Take those.
and we have no overextension. Let's go to Commonwealth. Let's go to us. Seventy-three. And I'm liking that. I don't see any reason not to do this peace deal. It'd give us everything that we need in the Caucasus, and they're no longer allied to Spain. So that's no longer a worry. And let's bust this fort. We don't want to have to pay for that. And we're going to mothball all of our other forts. Except for our capital fort. So we do start overextension. And we're going to start getting rid of, of unnecessary marks. We actually don't have a very large arm any longer. And let's start beefing it up. How many, how many cavalry do we have? We have a sufficient cavalry, I'm sure. I think 38 for the front row, 38 infantry, so let's get that. To watch out, make sure our subjects don't become disloyal. Well, after we've disbanded basically our entire army, I think we're okay. Just one ship. Let's get it updated. And these guys should be relatively upgraded. Yep. All right, that was a pretty successful war. It gave us everything we need over here. Let's just double check, make sure that that's actually true. Yeah, I can see all of the Caucasus. Now we just need one more island over here. And the rest of this land. We could get some Cossacks. This cost of our cavalry. And if this is in states, we could just start handing over some of the steppe territory to them. But it's not yet. Okay, so we got 10,000 horses there, so six can go elsewhere. Send them over here. Pick them up by ship and take them to Iberia. I think we only have like 1,500, yeah. But we need to deal with with this. It hasn't grown a single one of our provinces yet. Though we're at peace now, so it'll grow a little bit more rapidly. 
I think it's 25% slower spread while you're in a war. I think that's true. At least 10%. And let's send two horses over to Lisbon. Keep an eye on our time here. Okay, 15 minutes in. Might make this a shorter video than I um, normally do, because I do have a real life obligation that I need to be doing shortly. That's 62, and that's what we could support there, so that's good. Like to be building up the cannons here. That's not really an option at the moment, unless I went give up some of our hard earned cash. This fleet over here. I want nine more transports. Fortunately, transports are really cheap, but that'll make it much easier to get armies across. Let's move this army down to Achaea, and we could drop that in Calabria for easier invasions of. Sicily. Let's get a claim here. And we should improve relations with our allies. So I've got that annoying royal marriage with Savoy. We'll just get that local bonus, Vile Pirates. Now we're doing on tech. Okay, let's get this. I will like getting this decreased attrition. We don't care as much about attrition for enemies in this game as we did. And our last one is Mogwistan into Persia. Um, sure, how about Sugala? And we can freely increase autonomy. Okay, I'm thinking we could justify turning off our focus. Possibly even putting it back on to admin. Yeah, let's let's do that. Put it back on to admin. We got four years before we can invade Portugal, and then six months after that, we can invade Spain. trust is good let's get that trust up this should be maxed out 
goes all around. Lost our statesman. I think he was a plus two. Over trade efficiency for a little bit of cash. Okay, support the burgers, definitely. We do have a lot of influence now. I'll make us more trade income. If we need to anger them, we could strip them of some land. Okay, we're almost out of debt. Of course, we still need an institution, but it's almost spread here. I can see it spreading. Roma. Defend the Catholic faith, that doesn't interest us because we're Catholic. They do get the morale bonus in lowered war exhaustion, so I'm not super excited about that. They could drag him into other European wars. We got a hundred and twelve years or so to conquer the rest of Iberia. We'll have to beat up on France. We need these two provinces. Unless we can get them to sell a province if they have an embezzler or something at some point. But that's a long shot. more likely that we'll just meet them on the battlefield. Sure. Okay, let's repay these loans and now we could start building up our land forces a little bit more. Um, can we support more troops here? We can. We could have four more. But we're going to do five. If we need to, we'll just stick a general there. Yeah, put him there. And then we need to expand this army and possibly build a new one to stick over here. I think that will wait until we get our institution. Let me just keep an eye on the time. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here. It's just 24 minutes, but I have something to do exactly right now. So thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard as Albania. If you like this, please consider liking the video, subscribing, or even supporting me on Patreon. And that would entitle you to make all sorts of demands of my time in which you know, it's runs I should be doing. So consider it, please. Thanks.